Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller and today I'm bringing you another What Sold Weekend Edition. So these are my sales from Friday afternoon until Monday morning. And this weekend I had one sale on Poshmark, so I will show you that. And the rest are on eBay. I had a really, really strong sales weekend. Things have been good. So very grateful for that. I hope everyone else is having a lot of success as well. Um, things are definitely looking up, I think. So yeah, let's just get into what sold. Okay, so first thing is a zip up hoodie. It's uh, kind of like tie dyed and it says peace, love, peeps. This sold for $16.99 plus shipping. Next is this I've had forever. This is just a single skein of vintage yarn. This sold for $7.99 with free shipping. Next I sold four Royal Dalton plates. This is the second set of these that sold. This is a pattern that's not super, super high in demand. So uh, normally I get more than $19.99 for four plates, but uh, in this case, um, the pattern isn't, um, I guess, the most desirable. Anyway, $19.99 plus shipping. And now I don't have any more dinner plates. Okay, next I sold an American Girl doll. She had some issues. I sold her for $39.99 with free shipping. Uh, I think she had like makeup all over her face, if you can see that, like right there. And I tried to wipe it down a little bit and I mean, she just had some overall issues, but she she was listed for, I don't know, maybe a month or so, so not too bad. All right, next I sold five Pier 1 curtains and tapestry. This set I actually showed in my estate sale haul from, I don't know, I guess about a week, a week or so ago, a little over a week ago. And these sold right after I listed them for $99.99 plus shipping. Now, I would have listed these a little bit higher because it is a nice set and um, the boho thing is pretty, pretty hot yet. But the set had some damage. There were areas of fading, um, as you can see right here some of the tabs, only actually two of them, two of the tabs had some tears on the corner. Uh, the tapestry had an issue, had a little hole in it and everything. And I noted that all in the listing. Uh, the buyer actually messaged me and said that she is pretty good with sewing and repairs and everything. She was just excited to get these. So it worked out perfectly and I think she's really going to love them because they are still a really nice set. So yeah, pretty quick turnover for those. All right, next I sold a Laura Ashley Brighton Rose platter. This I've had for quite a while as well. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next I sold a Little House Needleworks uh, cross stitch kit. This was actually a complete kit. A lot of these little needle house or needleworks, little house needleworks. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. A lot of them are not complete kits. This one was, and it was a limited edition. So sold for a little more. It sold for $34.99 plus shipping. All right, next I sold a pair of earth boots. These sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And then I sold a vintage Flora Necruz kind of camisole type type top. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I was trying to make that larger and for some reason it's not enlarging. All right, moving on then. All right, uh, I sold a longer burger covered butter dish. This sold for $18.99 plus shipping. This was the second one that I had, so they are both sold now. And then I sold a vintage Phillies tie in the shape of a baseball bat. Kind of cool. This was in my death pile, just sitting around waiting to be listed. I finally listed it about a week ago, and it sold fairly quickly for $16.99 plus shipping. And I sold uh, a Stitcher's Hands 
cross stitch pattern. It's just the pattern, not a full kit. This sold for $22.99 plus shipping. Uh, then I sold a Torrid Active Sports Bra. This, I believe, came out of my last thrift trip before the before the uh, quarantine, and this sold for $24.99 plus shipping. The same buyer also purchased the other one in um, like a coral color, also for $24.99. So they both went to the same buyer. Next, I sold a studio puzzle. So yes, I am still selling puzzles. I still have a few left. This one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next, I sold a pair of Tom's uh, Moroccan crochet flats. These sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Then I sold a Mr. Christmas Santa's marching band set. This I actually had listed before Christmas and I expected it to sell then and it didn't, but it did sell now. So that is fine by me. The set sold for $94.99 plus shipping. I tested it out. It worked perfectly. Really cool set. Next, I sold six Farberware cocktail forks. These sold for $15.99, $15.95, I'm sorry, with free shipping. This is the second set I've sold of these. Next, I sold a Lolita wine glass with the flip-flop pattern. This was new in box. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Some of those do well. Some of the Lolito glasses do well. Some of them don't. So you have to kind of be picky when you pick those up. All right. Next, I sold uh, four Oneida set in place um, soup spoons. These sold for $15.99. And then I also sold to the same buyer four of the teaspoons for $19.99 plus shipping. I had multi quantity of both. I think. You know, these I, I sold out of now. The teaspoons, I still have five sets. So that's pretty nice. Next, I sold a pair of D jeans and these sold for $16.99 plus shipping. Then I sold a vintage record album. This is Hair, the American Tribal Love Rock Musical. So this sold for $9.99 plus shipping. This was open. I don't normally pick up records, but uh, I forget why I did. Um, I don't know. I think I was at a sale and they must have been pretty cheap or, or something like that. I'm not sure, but I sold it anyway. I, this was listed since sometime last summer. All right. Next I sold a world's largest crossword puzzle. So this hangs on the wall and I guess you can take turns or whatever. Let's see here. I think uh, it looks like she's doing a really small version of it, but it's 49. It's a 49 square foot puzzle grid, so I don't know, but it does hang on the wall. Anyhow, moving on. Oh, and $24.99 plus shipping. Next, I sold four Farberware iced teaspoons. I have one set of these left now. These sold for $14.95 plus shipping. I had three sets of these and two already sold. Uh, I, I like parting out flatware like this and usually like sets of four, sets of six, uh, because a lot of times that's all someone wants to either replace some from an existing set or to add to an exist existing set or whatever. All right, then I sold an Obey um, Martha Cooper photo t-shirt. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I sold a men's Harley Davidson motorcycles, uh, long sleeve shirt. This was new with tags. It sold for $24.99 with free shipping. This was a pretty recent listing too. Next I sold a Star Wars micro machine set. Had this for a little while. It sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Another yard designs. Uh, this is the final one that I've had in this pattern. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Then I sold a cross stitch. Uh, this was a chart and the threads, not the linen, but so it's like a partial kit. And this sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Next, I sold this set of six Waitersbach. I think that's how you pronounce it. 
I might have botched it. Uh, coffee mugs. These are plain. A lot of times you'll see these with different patterns, uh, snowmen, cats, flags, like Americana type stuff. They're made in all different designs. They're either usually made in Spain or West Germany. And some patterns do better than the others. But I usually pick these up if they're in good shape. You do have to look them over because these do tend to chip kind of easily. But I recently picked these up on, was it Friday or Saturday? It was over the weekend. I actually um, ran into a yard sale. I was super excited. I didn't even film a haul. It was only one sale and I just didn't feel like it was like enough stuff to really do a haul. So I just came home, got it all listed. I did, I did post some of the items or just kind of showed it, they, everything was still jumbled together, but I did post some photos in my Instagram story. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you did see that, uh, and a, and a photo of the sale. So anyway, these sold quick, uh, for $29.99 plus shipping. Next, I sold a dance creamer. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping recent listing. Then I sold this primitives by Kathy sign. This actually went to a viewer. Thank you so much, Holly. And she also purchased this Vera Bradley crossbody bag. So I hope you enjoy both of your items, Holly. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Okay. Then I sold this Ruby road Sure, it's new with tags, but it's got a spot, so listed it as new with defects. This sold for $16.95 plus shipping. Next, I sold four WMF Reno teaspoons. These were pretty recent listing. I actually I found these in the trunk of my car while I was cleaning it out a couple weeks ago, and I got the set listed, and I think I sold the salad forks already, and now the teaspoons. These sold for $39.99 plus shipping for the four teaspoons. Always research your patterns because certain ones do better than others. All right, next I sold a Suddenly Slim by Catalina one piece swimsuit. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Then I sold a Waverly Valance. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next, a puzzle, um, the traveling ballet. That's what this one is. And this sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next, another jigsaw puzzle. This is a thousand piece Christmas on Pet Street. This sold for $16.95 plus shipping. Then I sold another cross stitch kit. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Oop. And then I sold a Joan Boyce sequin bag. This is a QVC brand, I believe. Uh, and this sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Very sequined, sparkly, really nice bag. Next, I sold a pair of Danskos. These sold for $29.99 plus shipping. So last week, oops. Last week, I sold a lot of sandals, and this week, some ankle boots, so you never know. All right, then I sold a Puzz 3D, so this is like a three-dimensional puzzle. This is uh, a Thomas Kincaid puzzle. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next, I sold a pair of men's 7 for All Mankind bootcut jeans. These sold for $24.99 plus shipping. These were pretty recent listing. Next, I sold four Temptations by Tara. Dragonfly embossed coffee mugs cups. These sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Such a nice pattern on these. I got a whole set of these um, when I was in uh, the Ephrata area. And I parted out the cups, the bowls, the plates, and I think I sold the dinner plates already and now the mugs. So I think I have two other, I think I have the bowls and the salad plates left. All right, next I sold two of these Le Pro Ceramic Southwestern coffee mugs. They sold for $25.98 total, so $12.99 a piece plus shipping. And then 
over on Poshmark. I sold this Lululemon Flex on Court dress, size 4, and this sold for $35 plus the Poshmark shipping. Um, so I did actually have one Poshmark sale this weekend, and I did have one during the week too. So that, those were... I haven't had any sales in a while on Poshmark, but I did share my closet a couple times last week after saying that I haven't done it in forever. I finally shared my closet and made some sales. So not too shabby. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.